Hey gang, Bison here. Just want to do a, a fun little video here. Just a little conversation. Uh, <laughs> well, honestly, the thing that sparked all this is, uh, you know, we want to celebrate tonight. Tonight is uh, September 23rd. It is the premiere of the new MacGyver on CBS. And uh, I've been a MacGyver fan, my God, since it came out in 85, when I was like, what, in the fifth grade or something? And I always joked that, like, MacGyver and the A-Team laid the foundation of the man that I became. Um, so anyway, I was just uh, kind of uh, feeling a little nostalgic, and I broke out uh, some of my Swiss Army Victorinox and Wenger collection. Just to show everybody, in no way, shape, or form is this a review. It's just a little, little fun conversation. I'm not going to review, you know, any one of these in... Specific. Uh, if you have any questions, you can you can uh, ask me. And if I get time, I'll uh, review any specific one that I have here sitting on the table. Um, I'll just talk about the different models, you know, real quick, and you know why I have them. And you know, basically, you know, this all started when I was a a kid, just watching MacGyver, and I loved the show. And in around 1986, uh, you know, for a birthday present, my uh, father um, bought me a cheapy knockoff Swiss Army knife made by Colonial. I mean, this is from like the 1970s. This isn't obviously the exact knife, the exact knife um, that he bought me. My God, I must have beat up or used and it fell apart and I chucked it, but I found it on eBay for literally uh, $2 and this was $6 new back in the day. And it's brand new and this is the exact packaging and exact knife that my father had bought me back in the 86, you know, it's not an original Victorinox, but, you know, one, I was a kid, and two, you know, we're on a budget back then, and, and this was affordable, and at the time, I didn't know any difference. I just knew that the logo was different, but, you know, in terms of quality and anything else, I had no idea. I was, what, 11 years old? Um, unlike today, where I obsess over quality, and as usual, all my stuff always looks brand new, and I always get grief while you don't use it. Well... I do use it, but you know, coming from somebody, uh, you know, coming from a life where you know I, I, you work hard to earn stuff, and I appreciate it. Um, I, I try and keep everything nice and new because uh, you know things don't come easy, and I'm sure all of you guys and girls out there understand that. So, you know, I just want to show you what I have going on here and something cool. So after, you know, years later when I started working, I actually saved a couple dollars up, and at the time. Um, I had purchased the Super Tinker. Now this isn't obviously the original Super Tinker I bought, you know, in the late 80s, probably about 89, 90 when I got a little job. Um, that one I lost in the early 90s at some point on a job site. And this is the Super Tinker that was produced at some point in the 1980s. I do have the Super Tinker here, which is the current model. And there are some slight differences, and I'll talk about that in a second. That I just, you know, for nostalgic reasons, I actually found a long time ago, uh, not a long time ago, not too long ago on eBay, the original Victorinox Super Tinker that I carried when I was able to afford the real deal. God, I probably bought this for myself, like I said, I think somewhere around 89, something like that. And then I lost it somewhere about 98. So the, uh, the original model, which I have in my hand, as opposed to the newer ones, and I'll show you the difference in a second. The original model, if you can see it here, has a little slit in the Phillips screwdriver. That was because old school cans that didn't have an opener had um, the aluminum around the side where you actually had to stick it in and turn it to twist it and open the can that way. So that's what that was. That's a, a different old school can opener. And the newer models have a little hole in here where you can insert a steel safety pin. And the newer models have a third thing in here which they call, call uh, a package or a parcel carrier. So here's the underside of the new Super Tinker. And here you can see there's a parcel carrier which looks like that. There is an updated Phillips head with no slit in it. And if you see in there a little safety pin you can insert. So if you guys and girls don't know that, check out the new models. If there's a hole there, you can start a, start, not a safety pin, a, a straight pin, sorry. And that's the only real difference with the original Super Tinker. It's got all of this other same stuff, bottle opener, can opener, scissors, big blade, little blade. 
etc. And this this here is an original tinker from uh, I guess the 90s because it doesn't have the slit uh, in it and it's before they started putting the pinhole and it came with this uh, leather sheath um, here I've got my Swiss Champ comes with everything and I had the model that comes with the case with the survival kit and everything in there again it's not an in-depth review I'm just showing you my stuff this is a pouch for this is the Explorer model now when you buy some of these uh, models they do some do and some do not come with the mini screwdriver that attaches in the corkscrew and some of them do and do not come with the safety pin so I actually bought a kit which you see over there that has all these extra things in it um, so you can do it I also have here a couple uh, Wenger models I forgot the uh, name of this but this is from the 80s this is Wenger's version of the Super Tinker and it's got the chain and the different shield on it um, you know, if you watch MacGyver years ago, one of the most common models he carried was the uh, Super Tinker. And there's a whole list, if you go on like MacGyver Online database, if you're a real nerd like me with the show, they actually list, eat by each episode, uh, stuff he used. Like in the first season, he used a Tinker, he used a Super Tinker, he used a, a Vic Wenger model similar to this. He also used the executive model which you see him prying open a cap in the opening uh, of the original credits. If I could find it, I'll show you. Of course, I went through every single one but the one I wanted to show you. Here we go. It's got the orange peeler. There's the executive model. It's pretty cool. I keep this in my pocket when I wear dress pants. It sounds bulky. Anyway, um, and uh, you know, every day, in addition to my multi-tool, which is Victoria Knox, Spirit, it's lighter. There's also the uh, another Victorinox, the larger multi tool. Uh, it's a Victorinox. I think it's a Victorinox uh, Swiss Tool X. I bought on Amazon, and it comes with those tools in the pouch you see over there. What I carry every day is the Field Master. Sorry to jump around, just as exciting to me. The Field Master is essentially the Super Tinker, only comes with additional tool of a saw. It's got the scissors and everything else. So. Fieldmester is the super tinker with a saw. Uh, another one of my favorites that I did a review on a long time ago is the uh, Outrider. This is the, up here, this is the Wenger Mountaineer. They also made this one years ago with a uh, uh, serrated blade as well. Um, you know, I got the Swiss cool, Swiss tool, I mean a Swiss card uh, light. Some come with lights, some don't come with lights. They come in various colors. Um, this is uh, fairly new. This is the um, the soldier model. It's got a nice serrated blade on it and Phillips screwdriver, all can opener, bottle opener, and a beefy saw. Pretty cool there. Here I've got a little uh, Victorinox sharpener. You can sharpen it, that, sharpen it that way, or you pull this guy out. You can do fish hooks and other stuff. This pouch here is the Victorinox. This is a sharpening stone. I think I found this uh, at a flea market a long time ago, brand new in the packaging. I'm just a nerd with Victorinox. I'm brand loyal to stuff that works for me. These are just like the Victorinox nail clippers. Band fold, they're pretty cool. I actually uh, had two of these. One is somewhere floating around Italy. I lost it on my honeymoon. This was uh, made a long time ago. They're hard to find. You can find them on eBay though. Um, it has a cover. I don't know what I did with it. This is the uh, German military knife made by Victorinox. You can see here Victorinox stainless. And I added this myself. It did not come with the screwdriver. I just threw that in there. So it's a German military knife. Pretty cool. These items here uh, come with certain models of the Spirit or the real, the uh, larger Swiss tool. This is just for your bits. Stick your bits in here or here and you manually screw. 
and this is a little ratchet and you can buy the extender separately for screwing and it usually comes with about six bits I added four more just to have cool stuff some other cool things that you, accessories I'm an accessory person um, like this uh, this model here of the Swiss tool X has a little slot here where you can actually insert the corkscrew separately and of course I threw in a little mini flathead screwdriver in that too um, I'm going to put these loose items in there so they do not get lost uh, what else we got here this little guy sitting here is the uh, the mini champ they also make this version mini champ light when you see light it comes with a light built in this one has tweezers and a retractable pen there's the pen this is the uh, I forgot where I found this thing was Amazon a while ago or something for Torinox replacement parts kit and there's what it comes with the little split rings it's got the big pens these are the pens that actually go in the knives where they retract. These are the pens that go in kind of the sides where like you would put your toothpicks or in tweezers. Different sized toothpicks, different sized tweezers, larger pen, different springs for your scissors, more of these guys that go in the corkscrews, the little flatheads, <laughs> more tweezers. Tweezers so there's no tomorrow. Um, I wish it came with the straight pins, but you can stick any straight pit in there that's the uh, right length that's been piloted out for it so there's a little look at my Victorinox Swiss Army Knife collection um, now this is a very very cool book that I found on uh, Amazon a long time ago it's a Swiss Army Knife owner's manual and it talks about a wide variety of stuff in here if you can see the contacts contents it's got all this uh, good use in here, use in care, compare manufacturers, improvise and unexpected uses, repair modifications, accessories, true stories, etc. So it shows you lots of stuff going on here from like the originals that were created back in, uh, when was it? 1891 is when Carl Eisner began making folding knives. It also talks about how Victorinox got its name. Inox was a type of steel uh, and Victoria was... Carl uh, Els Elsener, whatever it is, I can't pronounce it properly, Elsener. His uh, mother passed, her name was Victoria, so he merged Victoria and Inox, and that's how we got Victorinox. It talks about how Wenger and Victorinox were the top two and only manufacturers, my God, for since like the late 1800s, and uh, not too long ago, uh, Victorinox finally uh, purchased Wenger now. For a while, they ran both lines of Wenger and uh, Victorinox, but they since have kind of merged the models, and they did away with the different shield, and they all kind of look the same. So there you go. There's a little, uh, little uh, action, nerd action, showing you my Victorinox and Swiss and other Swiss Army knives, uh, the Wenger collection, in uh, commemoration of the new MacGyver premiering tonight. I'm pretty psyched. Also uh, wearing uh, the Victoria Knox parachute cord bracelet that came with one of these that I bought. I think the uh, the Explorer model it came with. So there you go, gang. A little uh, show and tell, a little uh, geek action, and a little history. So check out the new MacGyver tonight. <laughs> I'm not being paid to promote MacGyver, but that's just me. I'm like a kid in a candy store within 20-something years from MacGyver. I already know I'm going to be set up for some disappointment because, you know, it's... It, you know, the, the new stuff loses the, the charm of the old stuff because it's got to be, you know, ridiculous effects and explosions. But whatever, we'll see. They're supposed to stick to some of the uh, original ways where, you know, the new MacGyver is going to do things kind of old school. And then there's other people doing tech junk. So check it out. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about this stuff. And uh, that's all I got for right now. All right, gang. Thanks for watching. Bison out.